Hey guys, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, we just got to the ski lodge. We found Kenny! Oh my gosh, I was so upset we lost Kenny, actually. And I was so happy to see him back. Uh, we left all our weapons at the front door. I'm not really liking that. I really don't trust half the people in our group, but I didn't really want to say that in front of them. It's just... It, it's just, it is what it is, I guess. And we got people coming up the mountain at us. What are these two talking about? Kenny's got a new girlfriend, apparently. I haven't seen one of these since. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. I don't really want to waste my time decorating a tree. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Find a tree topper. I got that CD. Stick that CD on the top of it. Call it a day. Focus on something more important. Go this way. Is it duck? It looks like a duck. We should make that the tree topper. Funny little guy. I want to make a duck the tree topper in honor of duck. Map of the ski resort. Let's go up here. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw yeah, lights. It's not the brightest of guys. Where did they go? Back into the woods. Did they? We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. I'm going to put a star up top or an angel. And she wants an angel. So I guess we'll do the angel. Well, we'll wait. We'll talk to other people first. We'll come back to this. Can I not? All right. I guess we have to pick one. Well, angel it is. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. 
Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Well, I wasn't on upstairs. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well... I'm still here. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Gross. Okay. Can I? She's going to be a runner. It's not his. Well, why are you telling me this? I trust you. For some reason. And I can tell you kept a few secrets. If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Oh, this sucks. What? Why do we gotta do this? Why can't we mingle, guys? Are you serious? I want to sit with Kenny and Luke. Ah! Here you go, Clem. Dang it. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. Yeah. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? Luke? I would. I think so. I don't know about the rest, but Luke. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I can't leave my friends. What? Of course you can't. 
They can stay too. No. Honey. Yeah. <sighs> Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. And that'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? <laughs> Excuse me? Luke, listen to him. I have been, but... Kenny's my friend. Gentlemen, please, there's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> oh, Kenny. Duck? Who's duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? I think Kenny's kind of broken. Can you blame him? Relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize, and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Kids, what are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. 
Give us a hand? Sure. you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Ken. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know. Right, Clem? Walt, how much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. forward. Going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like that. We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it! It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Nick, you shot his friend. You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. I'll live with it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? It's gone.
Go tell him. shoot my friends and I I shot Matthew oh boy it, 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 it happened real fast I didn't I didn't know if I hit him but I did and I didn't mean to do you know what you've done to me do you have any idea I didn't mean to I'm so sorry I'm so sorry Walter Atta boy. Two favorite guys just left. Does anyone know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me.
much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us. Oh boy. I shot him in the head. Clem. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Left your rifle. the rifle goodness let's go for the knife there we go Well, this is just great. Clementine, are you okay? What the hell? Oh gosh, the guys with the flashlights are here, I bet. Oh, Bonnie's with him. Sweet. Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. Oh! oh. Oh, come on, Bonnie. Look at this place.
Shannon, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them too? Johnny, cover that window. We do. Nobody. Not that disappointing. He's gonna kill him, Rebecca. We have to give up. Bill, stop! Ah. 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 <laughs> you all right? Wow, this guy's creepy. Oh gosh. Oh. Wow. No. That's for our man. Now I didn't want to do this. But you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to march another one of your friends out here and I'm going to put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Hi, Alvin. You motherfucker. Alvin! Bill, no! Tell him to stop! Kenny, stop! You remember George, Alvin? You see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me. You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. 
love you, Beck. Bill, please! <laughs> oh. I'm just messing this all up, aren't I? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. Jeez. Yeah, it's about fifty fifty again. Sixty four percent sat with Kenny. Well, it's Kenny. <laughs> I, I like that Luke guy. But Luke's still out there. 56% told the truth. Not that it matters, he's dead now. Oh, okay, so I suppose... Walter might have stabbed Nick if he didn't convince him otherwise. Okay, yeah. A lot of it's almost 50-50 split within a 5% margin. Like, look at that. Aside from when, you know, sitting with Kenny or not. But alright, that's the end of episode 2. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Kazmir out.